Good morning to everyone. Now we start second part of expert detective. Now we start. Maya started to write by first giving it a title in large block letter, Cat in the Crook. Below the t- title, she wrote her name and Nisha's name as perfect expert detective. She took about half an hour to finish it. Then she turned towards Nisha. She read out to nine points one by one. These were simple facts that she and her brother are known about Vishnuat. These were things like what Vishnuat ate when he ate and what he drank. She also wrote when and how he paid etc. It was noted that Vishnuat took two meals every morning and evening. He took a cup of tea in the morning and one in the afternoon. His food was simple: two chapatis, some dal, and a vegetable. It was also noted that Mr. Nath paid his bill in cash and tipped well. The list of the facts made Maya conclude that Mr. Nath was a crook. The same facts made quite another impression on Nisha. She thought Mr. Nath was a poor, lonely man. For example, it was a fact that Mr. Nath received no visitor except to one particular man. This man came to him every Sunday. This made Nisha pretty. Uh, Mr. Nath. My friend, that this indicated that Mr. Nath was a crook. The lone Sunday visitor, she concluded, Mr. must be Mr. Nath, a complicit in crime. Anyway, Nishant refused to agree with Maya on Mr. Nath. He was very annoyed at Maya's insisting on calling Mr. Nath a criminal. He threatened not to discuss the matter any further unless she changed her attitude. He added that Mr. Nath. Couldn't be bad man because he tipped Ramesh well. Maya replied that Ramesh perhaps knew some secrets of Mr. Nath, so he was given this a uh, bribe. Bribe. Nishat was now getting fed up. Maya saw it and asked him to be sensible. There was no point in making inquiries inquiries about Mr. Nath unless he was a crook. Nishat thought and thought that. He would become his friend. Then he would know why he was so lonely. Maya made the last effort. She said that Mr. Nath had been living in Shankar house for a year without a friend. It was she said because he feared being recognized and given to the cops. Nisha became stubborn. He said that he was going to try to be a friend of Mr. Nath. Maya warned him not to do so. As a friend of a crook, he would not be taken to jail with him. Nishad only looked angrily at him and walked away. Her theory seemed to have made no impression on him.